An ancient amulet has been shown to be the oldest known example of a metalwork technique still used by NASA. This 6,000-year-old amulet, originally discovered in the Neolithic village of Maragar, Pakistan, is thought to be the earliest example of lost wax casting, a method for making duplicate metal objects. The artifact was analyzed as part of a new study using a technique known as photoluminescence imaging in order to determine exactly how it was made. This involves shining a light on the artifact and then measuring the amount of light that bounces back. As different materials reflect different amounts of light, this enabled researchers to pinpoint the exact materials used to make the amulet. The research was carried out by researchers from IPanema, a European center for studying archaeological materials. The group is based at the Solal Synchrotron, a type of particle accelerator located near Paris, France. The process revealed that the amulet was cast as a single piece, leading the researchers to conclude that it was made used a process known as lost wax casting. This involves creating a replica of the original object using wax and then creating a mold around it. This is then heated up. The liquid wax poured out in molten metal poured in. Once cool, the mold is broken apart, leaving the newly formed metal object intact. The study published in Nature found that the amulet was made by pouring very pure copper melt into a pre-prepared clay mold using lost wax casting. The copper absorbed a small amount of oxygen during the processing which explains the presence of microscopic copper oxide bristles inside the amulet. Lost cost waxing can be used to produce far more complicated designs than the wheel-shaped amulet. It is still the most popular method used for art foundry today but its use stretches much further. It is also today the highest precision metal forming technique under the name investment casting in aerospace aeronautics and biomedicine. For high performance alloys from steel to titanium, explain the researchers. The technique has been used to create numerous components used on the International Space Station and the Curiosity Mars rover, as well as NASA's now defunct space shuttle. The process was also used to create parts of the Messenger spacecraft, which orbited Mercury between 2011 and 2015.